Right, welcome back guys. <laughs> Fresh start. I'm not having that other fucking... Uh, I'm not having that run save the other one. What I plan on doing with this is basically streaming Claire A, then Leon B. Uh, and then uploading it to YouTube. Uh, again, I do apologise uh, about the restart, but again, the fucking controller. My good god. It's next to me in pieces. Literally, rest in piss controller. What I'll do is I'll let the uh, the intros and everything play again just for the people that might have joined now. Uh, I'll read all the diaries and everything and then I'll enable the webcam after all the cutscenes. Oh, thank you, Mostess. I've missed all of you guys. He says. <laughs> anyway, let's do this. Uh, again, I'm going to be playing with a 360 pad, so fingers crossed. Um, you know, it's going to be better. I'm definitely not breaking this. Honestly, you know that rage when I just broke the controller? I've not had that since I was like 10 with the original PS1. <laughs> not going to lie, I feel kind of embarrassed now. But anyway, fuck it. What's done has been done. Resident Evil 2. A bizarre incident occurred in the outskirts of an American suburb called Raccoon City. It was later revealed that the terrible disaster had been caused by the T-Virus, a mutagenic toxin created by the international enterprise Umbrella Incorporated for use in bioweapon experiments. The Raccoon City Police Department's Special Stars Unit immediately began investigation in the affair. The case was apparently closed, thanks to the efforts of STARS members Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine. But the Umbrella Corporation's experiments were far from finished. Hello? Is anyone here? Hello? Uh, hello? <gasps> Look, I'm sorry I bothered you, okay? Just don't come any closer. Are you listening? Stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. out you're a cop right yeah first day on the job great huh Claire's a fucking Leon. genius nice to meet you mine's Claire Claire Redfield I came to find my brother Chris hey could you open 
open the glove box? Sure. There's a gun inside. Better take it with you. It is déjà vu indeed, Mustus. It is déjà vu indeed. Right guys, let's do this uh, again. Take two on Resident Evil 2 Player Ray. <laughs> oh, it feels so much nicer with the Xbox 360 pad. Oh, it feels so much nicer. Oh, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it's kind of weird going from the, uh, you know, the kind of D pad to the analog on this game. It feels really weird. <clears throat> Freeze! Who are you? What are you doing are you? here? What are you doing here? Don't shoot! I'm a human! <sighs> Ooh. Sorry about that, babe. I thought you were one of them. <laughs> What's going on in this town? Hold on. <laughs> I ain't got no clue, darling. By the time I noticed something was wrong, the entire city was infested with zombies. Okay, Kendo. He wants a bit of a Claire ass here. But don't you worry, girly. You'll be safe in here. Uh, I keep a close eye on things. Of course you are, Kendo. Does anyone know his first name, by the way? Um, let me just go into options and change the key config. Type C. There we go. Auto aim because I'm cheap like that. Yeah, does anyone know where. Is it Jim Kendo? Is that right? Jim Kendo, I think. Oh, Claire, 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 please. Right, get the get the crossbow. See, that was better. I only got bit once. The best time I've ever done this was with Leon. Um, I've never been bitten as Leon when I got the shotgun before. Or once, rather. Sorry. <laughs> rip, rip Kendo. I still remember playing the uh, the demo of this. Did any of you guys used to buy the um, official PlayStation magazines? You know, quite literally before the internet. I'm sure this came on one of the demos around Halloween or something. Oh, I kind of don't want to waste any more ammo. Shit. I'm going to get bitten again. No, I'm not. Can you stop complaining about the textures, Robin? This is, I told you, Tress FX. The technology they used in Tomb Raider, they've used on Claire's hair. You can see it waft around in the wind sometimes. God damn it, what a graphics war. Oh man, I ran straight into that. And I'm gonna get bitten again. And I'm gonna get bitten again. Unbelievable. Un I'm gonna die. I'm on danger. I'm not kidding you. I actually could die here. What the fuck just happened? I'm gonna die. What what the fuck just happened? 
Oh man, back in the old days indeed. I'm not kidding when I say this. It's going to be difficult getting to the police station. I'm going to have to go with the uh, underpass way. What a fucking shit start. My god. Not wrecked quite yet. I won't say I'm wrecked quite yet. I'm not wrecked till the fat lady sings. Okay, the woman's dead. Oh god. Oh no. I might not even make this next section. There is so many zombies here. I legit might not make this next section. I'm not even kidding when I say that. Jesus, what a terrible start. Well, fingers crossed it's only bound to get better, so. I'm gonna have to kill everyone. I'm gonna die. Oh, 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 go the long way round. Go the long way round. Go the. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm literally clenching here, guys. I am not kidding you. I am clenching. Oh, she's fine down the stairs. She'll run down this Claire's. Uh, down the Claire's, down the stairs. She'll take two stairs at a time with our Claire. Oh, man, I'm gonna vomit in a minute, I swear. <laughs> I think Leon has a pretty good cripple walk as well. You know, if you get Leon on danger, he walks even more fucked up than Claire. Oh man, I need a, I need a health uh, health spray so bad. See, I'm that discombobulated. I'm struggling to speak. This is just on normal Doctor Destry, but the problem is I've not played this game in about five or so years, um, and what I'm doing is a Resident Evil marathon. So I've done Resident Evil one and remake, and now I'm doing two. Obviously, after this, I'll do three, and then Code Run corrects, and then four, hopefully, if it's on sale. I'm having a terrible start though, man. Doctor, doctor, can you help me, please? <laughs> I think, honestly, after about an hour or so, you know, once I've got my fingers warmed up, I should be okay. I'll probably remember half of this stuff anyway, so. Right, let's go and have a chat with Will Smith again. Poor Claire, look at her hobbly ass. <laughs> Hang in there. Will, I loved you and I am legend. Are you the only officer left in the building? Uh, who are you? Claire. Claire Redfield. I'm not that type I'm of looking doctor. for my brother, Chris. <laughs> Fair dues. We Thanks lost anyway. contact with him over ten days ago. Chris, Jill, Barry. Every last Stars team member has disappeared. We should have listened to them. What happened? About two months ago, there was this incident involving these zombie-like creatures. Zombie-like creatures located in the outskirts of this. City. Zombies? <laughs> Chris and the other stars members discovered that Umbrella was behind everything. At the risk of their <laughs> own lives. But no one believed them. Oh. Are you okay? Don't worry about me. Just rescue the survivors in the other rooms. Here, take this key card. You should be able to unlock the doors in the hall with this. Now go. But... but just go. Just go. <sighs> Oscar okay. worthy. Really just Oscar worthy acting. I'll be back soon. 
<laughs> oh, she. Dr. Dext uh, Destry? Destry? Thank you for the follow. I do apologise if I've butchered your name. Max, thanks for ruining a childhood gem of mine. <laughs> oh, I hate you guys sometimes, honest to God. For, you, you are shitting on my childhood here, you really are. Of course I'll use the computer. Fucking Windows 95, Jesus. What is this actually? Is this like an old version of Apple software? Or, or what is this? It's not DOS, is it? Christ, how the fuck they got any work done on these computers is beyond me. Nice. Right, fingers crossed. In the padlock. In the padlock? In the lockpick little cabinet thing, there's going to be a first aid spray. This is the quick way of walking, by the way. You kind of, uh... You bash square. And she kind of skips, you know, with, with a crippled limbs. So it's just more torture for her. <laughs> We're Germans. We know how to destroy childhoods. <laughs> I want to say that's the only thing, Maximilian. <laughs> okay, there is no first aid spray. That is not good. Uh, right, let's have a look at these diaries. Again, guys, what I'm going to be doing is, hopefully, the stream is going to go well today. No more fuck-ups after I've got healed. Um, and I'll be uploading it to YouTube. Um, so, again, you guys are going to be a part of history. A very insignificant history, but nonetheless history. You, you guys did something today. <laughs> I will use the lockpick. Right, as soon as I use this herb, my ranking is going to go down to shit. Actually, it was shit ever since I started. <laughs> oh. Yes. Oh, I can finally move. Okay, police memorandum. 8th of the 23rd, 1998. This letter is just to inform everyone about the recent movement of equipment that has happened during the precinct's arrangement. The safe with the four-digit lock has been moved from the STARS office on the second floor to the eastern office on the first floor. 2236, Raccoon Police Liaison Department. I've got a deja vu about reading these. <laughs> Your stream keeps lagging. I have dropped 0.00% frames, Doctor. I think it could be your internet. I'm not lagging on my end. The only thing I could recommend is maybe reloading the stream. Um, or... Checking your internet, because I don't think it's on my end again. It's green across the board here. Thank you, Lappin2236. None of you guys should be getting any lag. If you get stream lag, is there any competitions on today? Uh, is there a League of Fedoras competition or CSGO or something? <coughs> Excuse me, that's the only thing I can think of. An open close switch for the shutter. It can't be activated since the cord is cut. We will get a cord for this later. The head is missing. Hmm. Seems to have been twisted off. Yeah, one of the most vital parts of the human anatomy. <laughs> I still think this is probably one of the best monsters in Resident Evil. Pick, pick, oh god, oh god. I might get hit. As soon as I come out of this screen, I might get hit. I got tongue, which isn't that bad. I just got a little lick. Claire liked that, actually. <laughs> Claire enjoyed that. Let me just see. I'm still fine. Okay, good stuff. I know there is, Max. I know there is. Operation Report. Operation Report, September 26th. The Raccoon Police Department was unexpectedly attacked by zombies. Many have been injured, even more were killed. 
During the attack, our communication equipment was destroyed and we no longer have contact with the outside. We have decided to carry out an operation with the intent of rescuing any possible survivors as well as to prevent this disaster from spreading beyond Raccoon City. The details of this operation are as follows. Security of armaments and ammunition. Chief Irons has voiced concern regarding the issue of terrorism due to a series of recent unresolved incidents. On the very day before the zombies attack, he made the decision to relocate all weapons to scattered intervals throughout the building as a temporary measure to prevent their possible seizure. Unfortunately, this decision has made it extremely difficult for us to locate all ammunition caches. It has become our top priority to recover these scattered munitions. To unlock the weapon storage, as stated earlier, it will be extremely difficult to secure all the ammunition. However, a considerable supply still remains in the underground weapon storage. Unfortunately, the person in charge of the keycard used to access the weapon storage is missing and we have been unable to locate the key. One of the breakers went down during the battle and the electronic locks are not functioning in certain areas. It has become a top priority to restore the power in the power room and secure these locks. Recorder, David Ford. Don't worry though, this is like a whole life story of these people, there's yet more to read. Operation Report, September 27th, 1pm. The West Barricade has been broken through and another exchange ensued. We sheltered the injured in a confiscation room and on the first floor temporarily. Twelve more people were injured in the battle, recorded David Ford. Additional Report. Three additional people were killed following the sudden appearance of a as yet unknown creature. This creature is identified by missing patches of skin and razor-like claws. However, its, more, its most distinguishing characteristics is its lance-like tongue, capable of piercing a human torso in an instant. Did you just see the liquor lick Claire? I didn't see any form of piercing there at all. <laughs> that sounds so fucked up. <laughs> The numbers as well as their location remains unknown. We have tentatively named this creature the Licker and are currently in the process of developing countermeasures to deal with this new threat. Yes, a fucking grenade launcher. <laughs> oh my god, finally. Man, I knew some of these entries were long, but Jesus. Um, do we have anything else around here? I don't think there is. I need a lighter to go into this room to do the painting, if I remember right. I think apart from that, I'm done. Yo, Rudgy, how you doing? Goonies just started on channel 5, oh my days. I don't think I used to watch him much though as a kid. Oh wow, Moses, I'm surprised you're even considering watching something else but this. This is grade A entertainment for you guys, and it's free. This is free of charge. Oh, welcome back, Adrian. How are you doing? Reload. Good girl. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, shufflers. I've still not finished someone here. Oh, shit. Please don't bite. Please don't bite. Please don't bite. Thank you. Woo! There we go. Not gonna lie, that felt really satisfying. Look how many herbs I have as well, man. Damn. <laughs> Most tests just chill in bed. Later on, go and get yourself a cup of hot tea or coffee. Just relax for today. It's Sunday. You guys deserve to chill out. Let's have a look see what we've got here. Operation Report 2. Operation Report, September 28th. Early morning, 2.30 a.m. Zomb zombies overran the operation room and another battle broke out. We lost four more people, including David. Oh, shit. We're down to four people, including myself. We failed to secure the weapons cache and hope our for our survival continues to diminish. We won't last much longer. 
We agreed upon a plan to escape through this sewer. There's a path leading from the precinct underground to the sewage disposal plan. We should be able to access the sewers through there. The only drawback is that there is no guarantee the sewage disposal plan is free of any possible dangers. We know our chances in the sewers are slim, but anything is better than simply waiting here to die. In order to buy more time, we lock the only door leading to the underground, which is located in the eastern office. We left the key behind the western office since it's unlikely that any of those creatures have the intelligence to find it and unlock the door. I pray that this operation report will be helpful to whoever may find it. Recorder, Elliot Edward. EE. -E. God damn it, EE. -E. <sighs> I'm not going to save yet, I don't think. I'll save later. Because I don't think there's much action upstairs. Hot chocolate with digestive biscuits. That sounds amazing, but it also sounds sickly sweet. Oh, nice, Mostis. What puppies have you got? I can't remember if you've told me or not. I'm sure one of you guys, I think it was actually you, said you were getting some, weren't you? Or was it someone else? Puppies! <laughs> and the chat comes alive. <laughs> oh, come on, Claire. Fuck me sideways. I don't need this gem for a while later anyway, but I'm going to get it now just in case. It saves me coming up here. I really want a dog as well. thing is, I have very expensive taste. If I could get a dog, I'll get a Doberman, and I want a pedigree Dobie. <laughs> 